Hi, my name is Jasmine. And I'm Princess. And this is White Coast and Stethoscope. <laughs> so, we today, we're talking about passing NCLEX, the truth about passing NCLEX. The real truth. We're going to talk about tips, mm -hmm. um, what we use, what programs we use, um, our first time taking it, our second time taking it, and um, what worked for us. We took the NCLEX twice, mm -hmm. and our first time taking it. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, you should use UWorld, UWorld, but UWorld are, is just questions. Yeah. And it's I feel like, bank. yeah, so I feel like you have to know your content to understand UWorld and understand the rationales. So I wouldn't, for me, for us, we wouldn't just rely on UWorld. That is not, I, I feel like, the only program that you should use for mm -hmm. um, NCLEX. And um, I feel like the first time I took it, you know, I was, I really wasn't that prepared. I wasn't confident. And um, I feel like the second time I took it, I went in more prepared, more confident, more ready to take it, um, mm -hmm. understanding Use the question. additional resources yes. to our second time. Mm -hmm. um, for me, my first time, I just did the UWorld Cubane because that's what everyone was saying. Mm -hmm. And like my cohort, that's what everyone was saying on YouTube. And for me, that wasn't the truth. Mm -hmm. Like... You can do that QBank, but once you get in there, you really need to know that content. And mm -hmm. not saying I didn't know the content, because I feel like I did, but just I didn't know enough. I didn't know the NCLEX content. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew the content that they teach us in school, but for NCLEX, that's a whole nother ballpark. And I feel like... So for, you really need to know a lot. And I feel like NCLEX um, questions is different from, like, the HESI or mm -hmm. the CAT or things like that like you have to really understand yeah, you the world questions. too yeah. like those are completely different questions different questions way different questions so um similar content but mm -hmm. but different mm -hmm. so we're gonna go like more in depth of like things we what? use and um talk about like our test scores and um, what worked what didn't work how many questions we went on the um in class and things like that not really mm -hmm. in detail of like what was on NCLEX but we can't talk about that but right but just, just like what to focus on or mm -hmm. the study tools that we use yeah to. so see we're just gonna go down the list yeah so if you see us looking down on our phones it's um we have wrote notes down so so we'll talk about um yeah sure so my first my first time I took UWorld when I the first time I took NCLEX I did UWorld and I don't remember what my percentile was but I didn't pass the readiness exam. It was like, basically like, girl, you ain't about to pass this. <laughs> it was like, girl, you you out of luck. But, um, but our program put so much pressure on us like to pass it by a certain date. So I was like, I have to take it. And I took it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we, we made friends with people <laughs> while we were uh, parking. I mean, while we were parking. <laughs> so um, what was I saying? Oh, so oh. the first time I took it, it was just like you don't have the chance to pass and girl like study again but i was like i have to take this you know i'm gonna take it in right play, and I, right and i was like i went in there i knew i shouldn't have been in that place mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i took it and i'm glad i did because i learned a lot about myself and like about how you need to study to like do well on these license exams mm -hmm. and um did not pass i figured out i was crying too i was so sad i was yeah. depressed you do be sad you said you did not sad. pass it and I, all i did was you world and i finished the whole q bank and i was like i finished all of the questions that you world had to offer was not passing them uh -huh, uh -huh. at all but i finished it and i was like maybe i have a chance i was like because a lot of people on youtube was like you can pass um without like having a good percentile like they were passing that did not yeah. happen for me they were like don't worry about the percentile like you can still pass just right you know that did not happen because i didn't know the content and it's like that content you have to know yeah the content. you like, do i think that's like number one key like feeling your content you cannot go and take that exam like at all i was in there sad i was in there crying i didn't take no breaks it was just a negative mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. for me and i would say don't do that and i would say don't rely on you world like if you know the type of person you are when it comes to like studying and me and her are similar mm -hmm. when it comes to like our study habits and just like how we get things we're very hands-on mm -hmm. like hands-on learners yeah. we like to touch we like to feel we like uh -huh. to write uh -huh. We like to repeat things. We got to see videos. We gotta. We want her. Yeah. Hear people explain, talk it out. You know. And everybody learns different too. So. Right. Like if you're if you're more like us, I think that you'll find a lot of what we did helpful mm -hmm. when it comes to um, studying for your NCLEX. But I did that first time. Terrible. Only did use U World. Not Same. a great experience. Mm -hmm. Second time, I did U World. Mm -hmm. I also did the lovely Hearst mm -hmm. and Marque. I love Marque. Marque is like a one. A1, yes. like 100% do Marque, you will pass. Marque is amazing. So I did those three things. 
um, along with like writing down notes. Um, mm -hmm. I made, I did um, a concept map of like sticky notes. I was putting them all in my mom's mm -hmm. living room. Mm -hmm. She was done with me. But like I was, <laughs> I was taping them up with like painter's tape. I'm gonna try to like insert a clip of so you guys can see how yeah. that was. Have the lovely mini lick I think, add that in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the program, okay, so the programs I use, I use a lot of programs because I don't know, like I said, you know, we learn different. Mm -hmm. um, so I had a tutor. So my tutor would send me questions and he would have me go over videos. Um, he would um, explain things to me. And then um, depending on the topic I was doing. So if I did respiratory, I would focus on respiratory. And then after that, I would do a U World um, test on respiratory to see where I am. And then I would go on to the next, you know, subject, like if it was um, cardiac or something like that or endocrine. So that's what I use, but I use HERS too. I did videos, registered nurse um, RN on YouTube. That was helpful. I did Saunders and I did Remar. So I just did a lot of different uh, things to just get the concept, to understand it. Cause I think you really, sometimes you may not understand it in the Saunders book or sometimes you may not understand it in a Remar book that you need Hearst. But Hearst, I feel like Hearst is number Hearst one. Hearst is the key to Hearst success. Hearst is like key and Marquet. I use Marquet. Oh, and Marquet. I use Marquet though. I, you want to say I, I used, used him after Hearst. Yeah, I used him when I would like did all my content and I think I was getting closer to my um exam date yeah same i went through mark um the, what was and the he video? makes it he makes it easier and we both did he has a live tutoring session mm -hmm. now which is so good you can do it online um it was what like four hours mm -hmm. four or five hours you want to explain that like what it is um, oh so yeah so the hearse i mean not the hearse the i did the hearse plus elevate so mm -hmm. hearse plus elevate you I get the hearse her. you get the hearse textbook so you finish the whole hearse textbook and then Elevate is a like a study session that you're able to use and they give you like, um, they go over the entire book again, like the entire um, Hearst mm -hmm. textbook and they make sure you focus on certain things. And I like that because like it was, and they make you write flashcards down. So I thought that was really helpful mm -hmm. and they make, and they give you quizzes after. So I was able to like really make sure I'm like understanding and it's clicking, that was great. And then we both did, um, the, the mark K. the live um tutoring session yeah so the live tutoring session you have to sign up for it it was like a hundred dollars uh -huh. or 150 one of those and they have like i think like in the morning or like later in the evening and then he goes over um questions. he has different sessions yeah it's like session one two and three uh -huh. and then he goes over questions with you but he teaches you like um tricks uh if you don't know like kind of like i was like guessing i wasn't even guess, guessing it was tricks. guessing like strategies yeah like if you don't know the question or like if you don't understand the answer you don't know the answer it's like strategies that you would use to get the correct answer and it was right. very helpful so and I it's was, with different people all over the world yeah and i say especially for select all the apply questions that was very helpful mm -hmm. very helpful he's great and he gives you yes yeah, he gives you questions mm -hmm. but we also use his um like his little notebook or whatever. Mm -hmm. His note. His like notes. Notebook. We have his notes. And um, from like they were like from like 2018 or something. But I use those too. Yeah. Plus, um, his recording. What he taught me. Yeah, his recordings. Yeah. Especially on his recordings, on, especially on fluid electrolytes. Oh my god, a one. But some stuff changed, so I think it's very um, mm -hmm. important to definitely do one of his live sessions. Mm -hmm. And it was so helpful. I only did it once. Yeah. And it was amazing. And he just taught, he taught me just so much and it's just, it's, I owe it all to Mark and Hurst. I feel like it really helped me on the NCLEX. Like the mm -hmm. thing about NCLEX, you're not, you're not supposed to, you're not going to know everything on the NCLEX, mm -hmm. but they're trying to test you to see how you think, mm -hmm. how, if you don't know something, how to get to the correct answer. I mean, you're not going to know everything. I mean, you might know 50% and I don't know. It's just, right. you're just not going to know everything. And so don't worry about the number either. Like. People oh, yeah. will be like, I passed in this amount of numbers. That's I mean, true. this amount of questions. And like, I'm fine. Like, don't worry about that. Like right now, what's the max questions? The one, uh, like, I think it's 145 still. 145? Yeah, so like 145. Like, it doesn't matter if you do 145. If they, if you go back to 265, who cares? Like, you're going to have that license. As long the the as you pass, all you want is your name on that board. And that's <laughs> yes. it. You want to say your full name on that board. So it don't matter. Like she said, it don't matter if you stop at... 75 or 85 or like right. she's at 100 145 just one place you, you passed the NCLEX that's all you want oh and I'm gonna be transparent so basically yeah. um when I still did UWorld my second time so mm -hmm. I got the 53rd percentile on UWorld and then with Hearst you take four like readiness tests they want you to get a 77 out of 125 
I never got that. So these are my scores for that. I got a 59 out of 125 on the first test, 60 out of 125 second test, 70 out of 125 for the third exam. And then my fourth exam where I was like, oh my gosh, I was so nervous I caught her. I got a 56 <laughs> out of 125. And I was like, I have not made 77. Like, I don't understand what's happening. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I'm studying, I'm doing all of this, I'm doing all of this, but I never reached 77. But on U World, I got like the, uh, my second time taking it, I got the, um, that I was more like, um, more like you're more uh, likely to succeed on yeah. the NCLEX. It says something you like that. You have a higher that. chance of passing on yeah. um, U World. So for U World, I got that. And I was like, okay, well, I have this, so maybe I'll do fine. And then I had those scores on Hearst, and I was like, dang, like, I have not mm -hmm. reached the 77. I don't think I did Hearst. I don't think I did Hearst exams. I think I just did the U World. Um, mm -hmm. It's the, what is it, the exam? It's like 120 20 questions or 25? Or for who? It's for U World. <laughs> it tells you if you're likely to pass, but I did that, I did that, and that's when I got. Oh, that's um, the readiness exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second time I got, like, likely to, likely to pass, something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that first time, I don't know where that was at. It was like, no, you're not passing. Right. So for you, real, we both got mm -hmm. ready to six, like ready to pass. I'm about to say succeed <laughs> for the second time. Then for on the second time we took it, mm -hmm. and then um, with hers, this was I never used hers the first time. I only did you yeah. world my first time taking NCLEX, and those are my scores that I just told you guys. Mm -hmm. And I didn't reach the 77, and like that had me discouraged. But I had already been studying for like three, four yeah. months, and like my program because we're in an Elms program. Um, FMP program, they wanted me to pass by a certain date. So I was like, I really have to take this or I won't be able, be mm -hmm, able to mm -hmm. continue on in the um, semester. So I took it and passed it, okay? Oh, okay, so I did, um, my goal was to do 75 to 150 questions a day. And that was between UWorld and, um, between UWorld and Hertz, because Hertz comes with the QBank as well. Mm -hmm. So I would just like mix it up. Sometimes I would do like 75 on UWorld, 75 on Hertz. And I feel like Hertz QBank was really helpful because on their QBank, they gave you a lot of select on apply questions. Mm -hmm. A it's lot. A lot. Like most of your questions were select on applies. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that was helpful. Which are hard. Mm -hmm. But then when you do that Marquette tutoring session, and he basically tells you like, mm -hmm. um, if something is so like specific, that it's most likely not right. Cause mm -hmm. like, for example, it'll be something like, this person should eat like three um, milliliters or three something, or they should drink three. Like if it's just so specific, if it has a number, yeah. Or if it's just like okay, like this is just like, like why is that here? Yeah. You, then you know that that's not the answer. Yeah. And what else? Oh, if you know fluid and electrolytes, I feel like you can pass the exam. Yeah. Like if you know the difference between like how fluid and electrolytes work, I feel like you're able to pass anything because- Especially that DI and SIDH, I feel like mm -hmm. if you know that, you're good. And like yeah. you said, that fluid and electrolytes, just like hypomagnesium, hyper, mm -hmm. like if you know that hyperkalemia, hypo. Cause that all has to do with those lab values. So like if they give yeah. you like a, um, a patient in heart failure or something and say like their potassium is high, you know, like this is happening and like, they're um, having too much fluid, so mm -hmm. hypervolemia. Like you know how to narrow down your answers, especially uh, specific gravity. Yeah. Like if they're dehydrated or if they need mm -hmm. more fluid, like you know how to kind of like figure out your answers. I feel like Hearst was helpful on that, but then like Hearst kill Marque. If you really know your, you know the content from Hearst, then you really understand Marque too. He goes over it. He makes it a little easier, but mm -hmm. it's just. Those two together were very, very, I would say it was very helpful. Right. When I think of Marquette, I think of who can sterilize my bell? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Neo can. <laughs> so that's what I think of. Yeah, he was very helpful. Oh, yeah. So I was reading and writing out all my rationales. So you have to do, um, even if they were right or wrong, I would do that. And I had a little whiteboard, like a mini whiteboard, mm -hmm. like basically similar to what they give you on NCLEX. And I was just trying to like prep myself for like how I'm going to answer stuff because you don't have enough time to like be writing. So I was just like writing things out, like crossing out words, like rereading stuff. Yeah. So that was helping me like prep. And I also did the flashcards that you do from Elevate. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, that's mine. Um, okay. I would say two um, things that we're, we're talking about that helped and worked for us may not work for you mm -hmm. you know you may not have to use all these things or you may use less or you may use even more but like i said everybody learns different everybody understands things different like 
she was like Jasmine was saying we're more hands-on we have to look at videos and like we have to touch and feel some people may not work it may there may not be hands-on they may just be like they rather just write things out and so I think you know uh, find what works best for you I say use that and um, I feel like you will succeed um, you know you can look up programs like you can look up hers they have an Instagram page mm -hmm. they have um, a website you can look up Remar mm -hmm. um, I bought my Saunders book from um, Amazon um, and then I watched also like I said register nurse was it register nurse mm -hmm. dot com yes, yeah on um, on uh what I want to say? On YouTube. On YouTube. I can think of YouTube. <laughs> what was going on? We just on? finished eating. So we probably like, like in a coma low-key. YouTube. So, and that was very helpful. So, and and then, so for me, I went over mostly all topics. So I did start it from fundamentals. Because they're, you know, fundamentals was like, you know, that's a big portion mm -hmm. that you should know. So I did like fundamentals, respiratory, cardiac, endocrine, neuro, maternity, pediatrics, um, psych, uh, I just did it all to just to make sure you're not gonna know everything but I feel like if you know something about that topic you can still pass that's how I feel right and then when you don't when you you guys are gonna pass but we're just saying yeah like if when you take it the first time they give you like a report they mail it to your house and they tell you what you need to work on and for mine it was fluid and electrolytes I was really low in like I was getting like um like moderate chance of passing or mm -hmm. something like high chance of passing or something like that on the report so i made sure i focused on that stuff and I, when i tell you that fluid and electrolytes like i promise you if you get that down pack you can answer any question it doesn't matter yeah. what it's about you can answer literally any question so i feel like you'll be fine i think my my first report i got um it was saying that you should focus i think mine's like basic hair and i'm like what the heck basic hair that should mm -hmm. be like what what did i miss in basic hair but basic hair is like really it can go in detail it can talk about foods about ivs mm -hmm. bed turning um diets it, it just comes from every everywhere but um i feel like i focused on that and then i also focused on just still other things just to make sure you know i understood that understood that content like i said that content you got to know that content like if you go without knowing content, like, you just will not succeed. Right. And I feel like people get so, like, wrapped up in, like, you need to know um, the isolation procedures or whatever, like, the airborne and all that, contact, yeah. all that. Like, you should know it, but, like, don't get so focused on that. And, like, the um, what does a baby do at two months? What, does they, what do they do at this? Like, know it, but don't get so wrapped up in it. Like, it's more, it's other stuff that matters yeah. on that exam besides those things. And don't, like, I would say, too, like, sometimes don't listen to other people. Like, mm -hmm. people's like, oh, you should know this. Oh, you should know this. Oh, you should know that. Oh, you know, sometimes that can throw you off. And don't listen to what people are like, oh, I, I only studied for two weeks. I only yeah, studied for like, three weeks and passed it right. at 75 or passed it. And it only took me, like, an hour. Like, don't listen to those people. You know, do you. Do what works best for you. Like Jasmine was saying, you just want to pass that's it you don't care what you stop on. right and take breaks because my first time i didn't take a break my second time i took maybe like three or four breaks mm -hmm. and i was like lunging down the hall at the inclex place <laughs> the test site and i actually bought snacks too and i just kept like praying mm -hmm. um i like, do whatever like practices you do like i'm yeah. not sure if everyone's like religious that watches this but do whatever like makes you calm if that's like deep mm -hmm, breathing mm -hmm. but it definitely for me was like i was doing a lot of prayer i was doing a lot of um like affirmations that uh -huh. i like made for myself so like repeating those mm -hmm, i mm -hmm. even like wrote them on my whiteboard mm -hmm. um every time i got a new whiteboard and i would just repeat it yeah or if i started getting anxious i just would repeat it and when i oh you know what i realized too because i was getting anxious too like in the exam so when i knew i was getting anxious i don't care if it, i went the next i did like five questions i stopped and took a break i'm sorry i was like <laughs> let me go take my break because you just your body you just had anxiety like okay mm -hmm. let me go take a break after 10 questions, i may have to go take a break because i just i just knew my first time i didn't i didn't think i took one break and then the second time I'm like i'm taking breaks if i get if i have anxiety or if you know i feel anxious like i need to just take a break and just walk like i would mm -hmm. walk i think i did jumping jacks and i just did some deep breathing because mm -hmm. like I don't know. When you go take that exam, it's like, I don't know. It's like some pressure that you you feel. Yes. Oh, another thing it's is like, eat. Yes. Eat before you get there. Um, I went to Starbucks and I got there like maybe 30 to 40 minutes mm -hmm. earlier. Because my first time, oh my God, my first time I took the NCLEX, 
I basically was on like it's the freeway out here that's like for um, my big rigs that we have and I ran over oh, something remember I ran over something on my way to the NCLEX like it was either like run over whatever was in the on the freeway or like get hit by a big rig uh -huh. and so of course I ran it over and then I was just nervous because I can hear something like dragging under my car so I get over I don't tell anybody in my family I'm taking NCLEX so I'm calling my dad and I'm just already like nervous but I'm just telling him and he just tells me to like keep driving so I make it to the end. Everybody <laughs> sees me like on the street. They can hear what's dragging <laughs> under my car. So I finally make it to the site, but I probably have like 15 minutes at this point. So I'm already just like, oh my gosh, like the devil is winning. Mm -hmm. Like he's trying to like mess me up. Mm -hmm. So like I was just, I went in like not good. Like I wasn't mentally right my first time. Yeah, but yeah. the second time I made sure I arrived like 30, 40 mm -hmm. minutes early. I ate. I did do I did study the night before and I did bring flashcards with me um in my car yeah, while like, I was waiting. Yeah. I did, I studied the I, I don't know if you should but I did study yeah. the day be, the day. And it just wasn't really studying. It was like just skimming over things. Yeah, I think I just went me. over like my labs and mm -hmm. like certain uh like charts about like insulin, just mm -hmm. like little things about the um certain ages they should know things. Like I think I just went over that kind of stuff. Right. And like went over some of the rationales I wrote out from, you know, the one you wrote, I just went back over it. Um, but maybe you should, I don't know if everybody, I mean, you don't have to do that. Um, some people say you shouldn't do it. I, just I did it because I'm anxious. I, I did. I'm like, let, got, I need to make we sure. Got anxiety. And two, like, let me tell you why, like, you want to pass an inkwax too. It's the money that you have to spend. Especially <laughs> if you live in California. It's the money, like, and they say it so casually, like this is three seventy five. Like, hmm? I think the Your total, retake, yeah, I think like five hundred dollars. Yeah, the retake was like five hundred dollars, but the first time it's like six something because you have to do a background check, mm -hmm. your fingerprint. All um, that. you got to pay like two different companies, so it's like it start adding mm -hmm. up. So, and your picture, so you pay. Yeah, but we didn't have to pay for our picture. We ended up our friend ended up taking it in our cohort yeah but some people actually go like to the passport photos but they have something you can do it on like, like your, on the app or something yeah and you don't have to even pay for that you just like do it on the app but that like costs money so you don't want to be spending a lot of money on this like who and then have, plus the resources you know? too like you was like maybe 150 mm -hmm. 200 dollars Hers was like three something, and I did hers plus elevate, so I yeah. probably spent like three fifty. Cause you want the, I think we did it's certain days, like the thirty days, like ninety days, or one twenty, yeah. so it's different, you know. Yeah, depends what package you get. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so you you coming out like a cool eight hundred dollars? Yeah, and I had about Remar, and then I had about that Saunders book, so mm -hmm. you maybe know. even a thousand. <laughs> yeah, you know, my tutor was through uh, my school, so I didn't have to um, mm -hmm. pay for that. And he was just so helpful. He was just he was awesome. He right, was I didn't do it. I didn't have a tutor. Mm -hmm. Um, really, because I didn't know we had those resources. Mm -hmm. But also, I've I felt like I was able to do it by myself, like. Truly, Hearst is your tutor. Like, they mm -hmm. do have, um, like, you can live chat with people. Yeah, that's true. Cause I, there was a time that I did need to live chat because I didn't understand why a question was wrong. Mm -hmm. And they ended up, like, explaining the rationale to me over live chat. So, like, there is, like, Hearst is basically a tutor as well. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have, like, anyone, like, Princess May, her tutor was making sure she was doing her questions. Yeah, he was on me. <laughs> yeah, he was on her. Every day, like, he would text me every day talking about what's the plan today what mm -hmm. are you doing today oh did you do your exam <laughs> you were telling her to push it back like push the exam back you need to do this you need to do that so he was just like on me on me um i guess he just wanted me to be like really ready really prepared you gonna go in there and take it and that's it like you know but trust yourself because literally yeah. it was i was getting burnt out like to the point where i was mm -hmm. like i don't want to read about nobody's hyperkalemia like i'm tired yeah, you get of reading to about this stuff where you get burnt out you get irritated you don't want to like deal with people yes. and it's like dang i know this i know this like like i have to keep studying so over it and then once once you get to that point i would say definitely give yourself a break mm -hmm. or just take your exam like because after I, I mentioned to you guys i didn't get like the scores that i needed for hers but i did get the okay to pass for you world but like you just need to feel confident and just pray mm -hmm. about it because there were people that were telling me like oh you didn't get those scores girl like it's not about to like you're not going to pass your NCLEX or whatever yeah those scores really like, don't matter yeah like don't listen to them because NCLEX questions are so different I can't explain mm -hmm. it's just different it's a different type of questions from like Saunders and from like uh Hesse and from like you were I don't mm -hmm. know it's just the questions are so different 
and they love what is the thing that they loved on on in class and i was like dang if they ask me this question one more time yes yeah, uh they have like those little things that they like but yeah so it's just like like i said do what's best for you what works for you and also um for me did you do this after taking the NCLEX I was so anxious I did the trick oh I did the trick too the, the trick first works. time the first time I didn't do the trick I, I was the like trick no the first time too, and was depressed for three days <laughs> I took it on Friday and you, you don't know the trick and, is? oh yeah but <laughs> so basically the trick is um after you finish your NCLEX you have to wait like you have to wait till you get the confirmation mm -hmm. email that whatever you like you took the NCLEX yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that uh -huh. and then from there um this is like two hours after from there you can like go and try to re-register and you put in like your card so you put in like you can put in your credit card info but just change the expiration date mm -hmm. and if you get like you can't register for this exam right now that means you pass but if you get like this is the wrong credit card info <laughs> then decline. it's not good so my first time that happened the first time i took the NCLEX that happened to me and I was like, this ain't real. Like that ain't, that, thing, <laughs> that trip is a lie. But I, I didn't feel good leaving out of that exam my first time. Yeah. And then um, you're supposed to be able to see like your name on the board. Like, was it like 48 hours mm -hmm. later? Yeah. My name was not. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. My name was not on the board. Mm -hmm. He know how to drive. Uh -huh. <laughs> my name was <laughs> not sorry. on the board. And I was like, okay, this is so stupid. Yeah. The fr I, did that. I said I didn't do the oh, trick. Oh, and then I took my exam on Friday, mm -hmm. so you they don't tell you your results on Saturday, Sunday. So I didn't know till Tuesday if I passed or not. Um, after, but I, the trick told me I didn't, but I was still hopeful. So I was still sad. Like, oh, it's wrong. Yeah, I was sad for like three, four days, uh -huh. like just in the bed, depressed. Uh -huh. I um, the first time I also I, I didn't do the trick, so I but it, I think I took mine's on. I think I can't remember. I think Wednesday and Friday, I did, I just, um, waited and it says, you know, it just says pass or you fail and it said fail. So I was, that just, was so hard. Yeah. When well, you see that, that too. and I hate that it says pass or fail. I feel like yeah. it should say pass, not pass, not pass or fail. Yeah. Cause, cause that like, fail is harsh. It's like, it, it gets to you. You be like, really? I kept looking at it like. I fell. I, fell. <laughs> I was crying. And so the second time I didn't do the tricks. I was, I couldn't, I, I was you like, didn't do the trick I didn't the second do, time? yeah, I did. Oh. I did the trick the second time. I was like. I was so just anxious and I was like, you know, I need to do it. I was like, I don't know, I was getting hot. I was, I don't know, it was like, like going on. I was like, I have to do it. So I just did the trick. And, and you got, you I got, got the pop-up. Mm -hmm. I got that. You already registered for this exam. I was like, oh, okay. Right. I did mine with my friend. I'm so glad I did it with her. <laughs> um, she gave me wine and I don't drink. <laughs> so it was perfect though. She gave, she poured me a glass of wine and she didn't understand what the trick was. She has no like. She's not in nursing school. So she was like, how do you know that this is going to work? And I'm like, girl, it works. Okay. So I texted another uh, friend who was in the program with us. Shout out to Siobhan. And sent her a screenshot of what happened. And yeah. she was like, yes, girl. It like worked. Okay. Yes. And then you just like, wait. You wait like to uh, when you have, you know, the three days to do the quick results too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't do that. But I didn't that's, do that the first time. That's to say if you like pass or fail like quick results. But then you find out your name is on the board. Then you paying like $20 for those. I don't know. Like they, just charge you, they charge you for everything. So you get charged. So therefore, but. um, Yeah, yeah do the trick. The trick. It's free. It is free. And it like calms your nerves. Even if like my thing, like if you didn't pass, okay, you know what to do. You know what you need to. I say if you don't pass though, take a break from like studying and just like relax your mind and then like make a schedule or a plan of what you feel like you should do better or mm -hmm. what would help for you but i, I think i think i said i think <laughs> i think i took like two months off between yeah. failing the first time and then restudying mm -hmm, again because mm -hmm. you're just like overwhelmed you're sad you have to get that motivation like dang what do i need to do to study or how can i study or mm -hmm. what topics do I need to work on? And I would say that. So what I did before I studied the second time, um, I took a, how can I say, like an assessment assessment mm -hmm. exam of like all topics from you world mixed together. And then to see where, you were at. To see where I was at mm -hmm. and what I was low in. So, and I did like from one to 10, what areas I was low in. And I started working on those areas. So I was low in fundamentals. I was like, I'm going to do that first. I was low in restaurant. I'm going to do that second. I was low in card, I'm going to do that third. And that's how I went over the different topics, what I was low in, starting from the highest to the lowest. To, Because, I mean, I feel like that was helpful to see where I needed to study. 
and what continent right. to go over. I didn't do that just because I bought her, so I followed their flow of mm -hmm. what they did. But I did after I finished their book, I did start to focus more on respiratory. I mean, not respiratory. I did focus more on um, fluid and electrolytes. Mm -hmm. That's where I was the lowest at based on that um, report they sent home to my house. And like I said, like if you know um, fluid and electrolytes, I pro like you really can answer any yeah, can. question. That hers was good though. It does not hers matter what the question is. Like you can answer it. So hers was I would say get that down. Yeah, when I went over um, the topics, I did use hers. Like, I'm like, okay, if I'm going over cardiac, I'm going to use hers cardiac to just watch the mm -hmm. videos. And that was helpful. And it's simple. Mm hmm Very simple. Oh, uh, what did they teach on hers? It was like, oh, just like the inverse reactions between, like, um, sassium and, um, I'm, I'm not about to make this up right now. But, like, the inverse reactions mm -hmm. between the different electrolytes, like, when one's high, the other one's low. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, hyper, hypo, yeah, kind of stuff like that. that was oh, helpful. which was another good thing that I really like with Mark K because he talks about like hypothyroidism means like slow metabolism, and then mm -hmm. hyper means fast. Mm -hmm. So when you say slow, like of course that person's bigger, they um they're not like burning uh -huh. enough, and then when it's hyper, they're like really skinny, and like the things that can happen. So I thought that that was really helpful how he differentiates. Yeah, he two. did something like hypo hyperkalemia was like everything's high except, yeah uh -huh. and that means their numbers are also high too mm -hmm. which i like except like um what was it everything's high except i don't remember it was like <laughs> output i passed something. mine's in november so, so it was like i'm now doing my F and yeah stuff, it was so like, like everything's high know. and everything's and then except some other stuff but it's like little tricks he'll teach you so mm -hmm. you'll know i loved it yeah, even like it was a lot of stuff. Like, um, even over oh, as the pH goes, so goes my patient. Mm -hmm. So, like, if the pH is low, then your patient, like, everything is low. They mm -hmm. can probably be in a coma or something. I think that was a wasn't that the thing? Yes, as pH it goes? was like a lot. He has like a lot of little tricks, mm -hmm. even for it was just so much. Yeah, I like the stuff he says, like his sayings, uh huh. You but, like, which oh. is really good. But, like, if you're still in like a program, like, I'm still in my master's program. So I was like studying for NCLEX as well as doing like my FMP course stuff. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot for me. So like I was trying not to get overwhelmed. But I feel like people that are in like traditional programs or people who have time off, like yeah, they take, take that time. Yeah. yeah, they like graduate then they study. And then for they can study, yeah. And I think for them, that's helpful for but like when you're in school still and trying to study for NCLEX, that's really hard. Like do self care. I would just be buying myself stuff or like I would get a massage mm -hmm. or I would ha try to hang with friends, yeah. but not really because I would just be so stressed. Yeah. So that's like our little... Oh, we both bought iPads. Oh, yeah. With the, you got the pencil, right? the, So yeah, yeah. I oh, love that. That was helpful. I ended up getting this app called Notability. Oh, I got that. Write, yeah, you can write notes. And you can insert like pictures. So mm -hmm. I inserted a picture of um, Michael, Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> and to this day, to know your yeah, to, to know, know what's like that? what's on, oh, like, <laughs> yeah, what um, organs are on what side. So it's a picture of Michael B. Jordan with his shirt off. And to this day, I know what's like what organs are where. Like if you have right lower pain, that's appendicitis. Okay, left lower pain is um, diverticulitis. Like I remember that just because I can picture that man's body. <laughs> In my head. <laughs> it was so helpful so do stuff like that like make studying fun because it's mm -hmm. already like in place it's already like a piece of work mm -hmm. like it's a lot so if you can figure out little tricks to make it fun for you then mm -hmm. do that and yeah, that's our little spill yeah. about the NCLEX. But don't I, believe people. Like, you world is not all you need. Yeah, I feel like, like I said, you have to know that content to um, mm -hmm. really understand you world. I mean, mm -hmm. to really but, understand mm -hmm. the questions. Like, I remember my first second you world, I was like, what is this talking about? Right. Like, I've never seen this before. So, know that content. You'll be good. Um, if you have questions for us, um, you can reach out. Um, yeah, our Instagram is at underscore white coats and stethoscopes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will respond. Um, Nurses Week is coming up soon. Mm -hmm. In about a week or two. Yeah, so we're going to try to get this video posted before then. Um, we decided to have someone edit it, but mm -hmm. it should be up very shortly. So, mm -hmm. And then um, look out on our page. We're going to have some little things going on during Nurses Week. We want you guys all to get involved in um uh, it's gonna be some goodies, I say. I would say. Yes. So follow us. Stay positive and know you can pass. The inquest is just have confidence. This little. I would say have confidence, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, don't give up. If you have to take it 
the third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I don't care how many times you take it. You just want to pass it. You're going to get it. But after that first time, really do like some deep self like evaluation. Mm -hmm. um, even just like when it comes to like your spirit, like I got more into like doing affirmations. I ended mm -hmm. up buying like an affirmation card set. So every day I would like pull from the deck. I think I'm just praying all the time. Like, Lord. Yeah. Like just get, <laughs> make sure that you're like right mentally. Mm -hmm. I didn't work out throughout that time though. Cause I just was so stressed. Dude, I, so I, I wasn't working out. And I feel like too, like during that like test, that. I was like, um, that test, some of the questions I'm like, I don't know what, I don't know yeah. what answer this is, but Lord just guide me to the correct answer. That's mm -hmm. what I was saying to myself. And you can't be hard on yourself. You gotta just get them done or just keep yeah. telling. I kept telling myself like this though, these are the practice questions. Cause they give you like, they added back in the 15 like research questions. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So I kept saying if I didn't know something like this, is a research question, like forget them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a research like, question. I don't have any stress. Uh -huh. And just keep going no matter what. Keep going. Like keep going. Um, mm -hmm. Don't give up. Like like if you don't pass the first time, that is, does not mean you're not going to be yeah, a nurse or you're, you're not. A, you. Yeah. Just keep practicing and keep trying. And if you have any questions or need help, like reach out to us. Like we want everybody to pass. Um, yeah, and save money. Yeah, we'll help you. Um, help you how did we did our notes or something? Like mm -hmm. Jasmine used flashcards for certain things. I'd more I write write out charts and stuff. I don't mm -hmm. know my brain works different. I have to examine the chart and it's like sticks right. In my I can just I gotta keep re, like rewriting yeah. stuff and that's how I get it. Like certain things. So it's like everybody mm -hmm. learns different. But if you need help or a nice Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> If you need help with anything, just reach out to us. We are we're here to help. Yes. And because we want everybody to succeed and pass the NCLEX and be that successful nurse that you will be. So who? I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, reach out to us, uh -huh. follow us, and you're gonna pass that NCLEX. And um, yeah. So we'll have I don't know, we're gonna have another video up after this one. We're gonna try to at least get them done. I'll say every other month is mm -hmm, what I can commit mm -hmm. to because I'm still in school. She's still in school, and mm -hmm. then um, we'll mm -hmm. start working soon too. And we'll have a video about that too. What Jasmine's doing in school, or our, um, I want to say what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a video soon about that, and then yeah. But look out too for Nurses Week. Uh, we'll have some things. Good hi. I'm oh, sorry. We just meet friends. Right. We're sitting in our car. They see us just sitting here talking. <laughs> so, nurses, we will have some content out. So, look out on that. Little giveaways and stuff like that. So, check us out. Um, if you need anything, hit us up in our on our Instagram page, in our DMs, and we'll respond. All right. Bye, you guys. Bye.